the back of the venue, filled with the rarity of gold. Skill grain is flipped like in times of old. What horror does this table hold? Trickstar, Burn, and other monstrous things. They all will fall to Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. <laughs> A place where cloudy and mirrors cause only pain, and the burning abyss creates innumerable change. Will you challenge Samochi and the life she drains? Who will stand and be so able to end the nightmare of this fate? None shall escape the bottom table. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, welcome back to another episode of The Bottom Table. This week we've got Ogdodex. If you want to take part in The Bottom Table, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can send in your replays. And of course, if you're interested in uh, the new Joel shirt here, check the description down below and find out how you can get yours today. This replay is sent in by two different players, Papa Shekels and Second Street, so I'll be displaying both of their replays since they apparently are just reptile connoisseurs. Do you love sending monsters to the graveyard but hate that foolish burial is limited to one? What about an unlimited card that, for the low cost of a discard, can foolish burial four monsters of your choice. If that sounds too broken to be true, I promise you, it, it, it's not true. Snake Crane has no targets that are good enough. Yet I built a deck around reptiles anyway because they have some potential, especially when combining the best of the three archetypes. Alien, Ogdodic, Reptilian. Ogdodic provide a good boss monster in Ogdebus, alongside a powerful recurring resource engine to recover from a full board wipe. Reptilians provide quick access to bodies alongside unorthodox removal options, and aliens can do Baguska 2.0. All right, next up we've got zombies versus Ogdodex. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Allure of Darkness banishes you in a zombie. Fusion Destiny for DP pass. Okay, all right. I think we know what staple is getting banned uh, next week. Let's begin with Reptilian Ramifications, adding Reptilian uh, Niyami and Spawn. It's rain and snakes, baby. We're sending five snakes from deck to the graveyard, and then we're activating Reptilian Spawn, banish Reptilian and special two tokens. All right, what are we doing with these tokens? Oh, they're just fodder for curse. That's pretty good. A bit of token, bring back Noya, I think that is. This one adds a Serpent Strike from deck to the hand. Activate Serpent Strike. Here's Nunu. Special summoning itself here. Overlaying into King of the Feral Imps. This is probably the best time to DPE. Oh, does not pop Feral Imps. Hit Strike instead. Why? I don't know. Ah, because we're going to Gamma this instead. You're a smart DPE player, honestly. Smartest Fusion Destiny enjoyer. That's pretty good. All right. Now we're going to link away into Reptilian Enchilada. This card has an animation. This card has an animation. Oh, no. Did you just give your opponent a monster? That's not good. There's a zero attack monster in the field. I don't actually know exactly what that means, but I think it's pretty good news for you. Here, we're going to go link three into Cosmic Slicers. This freak has an animation, but not Dante. A cell recumination. Reptilian spawn. Summon two more tokens, by the way. Not once per turn. Summons a shock trooper M frame. Battle phase. Attacks over the gamma. Attacks over the driver. Attacks directly with Zeral. Wait, that's it? Wait, we're not cooming? Like, isn't isn't this card good? Planet pollutant virus. The hell does this card do? Tribute an alien, destroy all face-up monsters with A counters. At the end of your opponent's third turn after this card's activation, place an A counter on each monster they summon. Okay, so I think this is supposed to, like, synergize with this guy, which is, I think, A counter monsters are negated or something. Monsters your opponent controls with A counters change defense and can't activate their effects. Unfortunately, DPE is not a summon, it's a return. I think. I could be wrong, though. Is it a summon? No, it is a summon! It's negated! Now we're cooming all over them with combination device. Duster to force it out here puts a lot of uh, coom tokens, counters on Zerol. Okay, this is actually kind of rough now. Every single monster that you summon is going to be filled with some counters, some slimy alien counters. Activate snow, goes to defense mode, ready fusion, tries to special summon. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this guy. Yeah, the tuner vanilla monster. Synchro with DP into bar on the floor. <laughs> is negated by the way. 
and put to defense mode. Oh my god! How? How do we out zero? Here's Fairy Tail Snow coming out here. Special summon is negated. Dragon Roar and Dark are activating, however. This is really, really good value from the snow and the uh, combination of this card called again. Grass, that's the one. All right, Thunder Dracha activates the effect here. Searching for another copy of Thunder Dracha. We get to link Shokan into Boral Sword Dragon. Can't put this one to defense, my friend. Finally! Freaking five card, 20 step combo to out one slicer. <laughs> Special summons out Fairy Tail Snow. Snow attacks over the Nunu, Noya, Poopoo. Attacks directly with Boral Sword Dragon. And there we go, we can play the game. Main phase two, we're gonna summon Jet Synchron. Wait, you're still getting alien counters, but unfortunately they don't do anything because they are, uh, Zerol isn't on the field to negate them. Uh, gonna summon Snow first. Links away with Verte? To make Unicorn. Are you climbing into Zeroboros or Apollosa? Is that what you're doing? My Snow is so fair. <laughs> Snow is so fair. Apollosa plus Borosaur Dragon. Top deck, a Noya. We got Lightning Storm. Nice Apollosa. Can we deal with a single Borosaur Dragon? We're going to Coom with the uh, Graveyard Effect to search for Ammonite. But first we're going to get Noya for Water Lily. Water Lily is a Reborn and Send, I think. Summons out Nunu. Overlays into King of the Pharaoh imps here. Snow, that's not good. Still has fodder for snow. Unbelievable. All right, at least this is the final snow effect here. Can we play through a snow? And Roar is going to special summon from the deck Dark. Uh, we can keep going. We've got Curse. Curse tributes a monster, special summons itself. And revives uh, Nunu, Noya, Pee Pee, Poo Poo, one of the names. Sends Ogdebis and revives Ogdebis with Water Lily. Ogdebis effects, sends the Boral Sword to the graveyard and summons another Slicer. Battle phase clears the snow. I feel like keeping the Ogdebis was better, but all right. Big back and forth here. I think we've got one more snow effect into snow. Dasher summons snow. Wait, why are you still getting tokens? I thought it was the trap that did that. What is it that's doing? Is it three turns? Three to Bruh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's in this is just skill drain for three turns. It's Baguska for three turns. My god. All right. Special summon back snow, but just nothing to do because we have a three turn Baguska lingering trap card. That's insane. Planet virus for game. Aliens to the moon, baby. Holy crap. All right, well, this looks like a good hand. We've got the combination of all three archetypes. Well, two so far. We've got uh, the Ogdodex as well as the alien cards. Uh, Nunu is going to be discarded to the grave. I think that sends one from deck to the grave, but that will be hit with Ciphering Gamma. Okay, well, I mean, is this deck capable of playing through anything else? Let's see, that's Snake Crane's the best card. Ugh. Ash Blossom, enjoy spring on your uh, Foolish Burial for four. The good thing is, as he noted in the uh, introduction, uh, well, there's no good targets anyway, so, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, Nunu is special summoned from the graveyard, as well as our normal summon level 4 gives us King of the Pharaoh Imps. That's uh, typically a bit of a choke point for this deck. Who do we have here? We've got Noya or uh, Nunu or Poo Poo. I don't know. It's a foolish burial. It sends Curse to the graveyard, which special summons itself by tributing. I know that also gives your opponent a free body. Uh, I think Stealth Buster uh, gets the special summon itself from the graveyard if you uh, uh, put some alien counters on a monster. And the spell search off of the Noya is actually going to go for Serpent Strike, since we already have access to Water Lily. Uh, here's Reptilian Enchilada. Still don't know how to say the effect here. Echidna. You add cards from your deck to your hand, Reptiles, equal to the number of zero attack monsters on the field. So the Driver puts itself to zero with the Enchilada puts the Driver to zero. And we have Ash Blossom, so that's two searches. That's pretty good. All right, we're uh, extending here with a Synchro into Reptilian Hydra. I think this... Adds or draws equal to the number of zero attack monsters. Lamia also has chain link two resolves, puts the gamma to zero, so that's three. Destroys all zero attack position monsters and uh, zero attack monsters in the field, and then draws equal to that number. I, d I know this from table 500. I've seen enough Bish Balk and FTK to know what, th what that does. All right, still extending with the Light Serpent discard, adding back Zoha, Light Serpent special summons itself to the field here. Gonna link into Cosmic Slicer Zero. You don't know what this guy does, it's actually uh, pretty broken. Adds a card from deck to the hand that places A counters. Combine that with the effect of uh, Cosmic Slicer Zero, it negates and puts to defense all monsters that have an alien counter. So this combo basically means everything is Baguskad for the turn, but you are, you can't like remove it because Virus lasts three turns once it resolves, and that's what's gonna happen here. Resolution of this emergency teleport. But, oh, it's Sprite! Okay, well, 
Let's see how Sprite deals with Baguska. Uh, all right, uh, Prosperity trying to dig for an answer here. Probably should have started with that, honestly. Yeah, that, I mean, that does that infinite impermanence, you know? <laughs> Would have been nice if we had read these cards, but it's okay. Don't worry, Akakak. No one has read Reptile and Ogdodic cards since, like, 2019, maybe, when this deck was first released. I, I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, um... Just kind of clicking buttons, I suppose, on the opponent's side here. You know, I mean, what else can you really do? Your uh, game is bugged, and Mastodo tends to bug because I can't activate my effects. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Recoom Device adds a alien uh, from the deck to the hand here by banishing itself. We've got Ammonite, which is a special summon from the graveyard, a debris dragon of sorts. Brings back the Stealth Buster. Uh, Curse is brought back from the graveyard as well. Special summons. And I think we're just uh, going through the motions here. Our opponent is not going to have a chance and. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Playing through two disruptions. Gamma and Ash Blossom. No problem. Oh, wow. Our opponent's playing Ogdodix as well. Ah, oh, what a time to be alive. A mirror match. Is this what goes on in Gold 2? All right. Well, let's see what our opponent's take on the deck is. Uh, using Layer of Darkness. So I think they're trying to basically take advantage of the big Ogdodic monsters since they tribute monsters and you can just tribute your opponents instead. So... Uh, let's see what they end on. Is it like rank 8 turbo? Uh, re recycles with uh, that name that not a lot of people play. This is a big snake boy who is a level 8 monster that's just free to special summon from the graveyard. Zombie vampire gets to mill 4 here. Uh, probably not a good idea that we just gave our opponent some reptiles, is it? Alright, Lair of Darkness also gets two tokens. They didn't really end on much, did they? I think uh, it's just Ogdobus, which uh, fortunately doesn't do anything in the mirror match. Ogdobus actually has the effect that it sends all monsters on the field, except monster special from the graveyard. Uh, <laughs> considering how it's a mirror match, uh, I think uh, you're going to be fine with that. Here we go, speak of the devil. There's a water lily dumping Ogdobus, special summoning Ogdobus. Ogdobus effect sends everything to the graveyard, except things special from the graveyard, so opponent still gets to keep half their field here. Special summoning, normal summoning Noya. Ogdobus effect gets to send. Just the Noya, however, since uh, everything else was summoned from the graveyard. Gonna get a copy of Serpent Strike, though. Um, this Arion activates here. What does this guy do? Aron, what does he do? Loops a card? Okay, loops a card and then adds a card from the graveyard. Isn't that kind of nuts? The Neatrishula. Sure. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Serpent Strike discards Night Serpent, brings back Noya. Light Serpent brings itself back as it was sent to the graveyard, and we get to go for King of the Feral Imps. This one adds any uh, reptile from deck to the hand here. Gonna add a copy of Lamia. Next up, we're going into Enchida. Echidna. So we can put something to zero attack here with Enchida. Gonna go into Cosmic Slicer Zerol here. And Zerol, gonna put everything to defense mode that has an alien counter. Also adds Overlord. Overlord removes two alien counters to special summon himself from the hand here. Activates its effect to spread the alien counter. See, I know this because of Duel Links. I don't know why I played aliens and Duel Links for the longest time. Special summon Lamia. And the Synchro into Reptilian Hydra. That's going to activate her effect here. Chained by the Lamia. Putting two monsters to zero attack here. And this should destroy as well. So that's three total. And draw three. Pretty casual uh, Reptilian... Hydra coming in clutch with an access code going to be able to clean out the duel here. 53, 23, 21. GG. All right. The Og the Best Mirror Match. If you ever need any uh, advice on how to take down the uh, the mirror, well, Pack Shekels has got you covered. All right. Here is uh, Shekels' deck list here. It's running all of the Ogdodic names, the all-important ones at three, like your Nunu and Noya. Obviously, we're playing Triple Water Lily and Snake Crane. And uh, the extra deck, well, everything that you saw in the replay was used at some point, I think, except for the Underworld Goddess. So, yeah, pretty consistent deck list, I suppose. 40 cards, Snake Crane, just a good way to get to that all-important graveyard resource loop that this deck does with your planet pollutant virus and alien uh, win conditions. So here's the deck list. Uh, feel free to pause and screenshot if you want. You probably should know what most of these cards are if you watch the full video here. All right, very cool, Papa. Glad to see that this was uh, doing something spicy. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and uh, see you next time. So you want to take part on the bottom table. Do you think you have what it takes to finally set up your combo on turn 5 or set up an unbreakable field of 1.7 negates using 4 cards? Then look no further. The bottom table is the series for you. Create a short paragraph or two describing what your deck is, how it functions, and send in a clear screenshot of your deck list using the in-game Master Duel deck editor or the Yu-Gi-Oh card database as well as your Master Duel player ID, which replays that you are trying to showcase, email replays at farfa.xyz and show us what you can do. This has been The Bottom Table. <laughs>